Hello, this is Dr. K, and today I want to talk to you about something extremely important. If you're dealing with anxiety, burnout, or fatigue, or any health care issue or emotional issue for that matter, anything in your life, it's important to widen back to the 30,000 foot view and recognize that at birth you were equipped with an internal navigational system, and I call that the inner compass. If this inner compass or inner navigational system is off, it will throw you into all sorts of different directions in your life. You will reach for the wrong food. You will date the wrong people. You will stay in a relationship that is killing you or harming you or your family. You will grab for food that tries to fill the empty well. You will drink alcohol to draw, draw out your sorrows. You will work as a workaholic. You will do all these things. and. This is the 600 pound gorilla that does not show up on the blood test. And I can tell you after tens of thousands of visits that this is something that you have, but it's been blocked, the internal compass. Well, what is that? This is how you know. This is how you feel like, I know I should go and do this thing. I know I should have this completion conversation. I know I should take this action. But it's this compass, have you ever seen a compass in real life, right? It can get thrown off, it's true north, and this is how we navigate the world in like, we're using a compass back in the old days. That's how your phone works, by the way. It's still working on a magnetic north, it's just digital now. But you have this internal compass, and this is how you really can feel an alignment and a direction to go a certain way, but often we don't because the mind, the fear, the doubt, oh, I don't know what they'll say, the judgment, these are the magnetic attractors that throw that compass off. So it's extremely important to understand there are two primary things that throw you off the compass. One of which is complete and total distraction. The distraction, the absolute overwhelm from social media, from your emails, from your texts, from everything just bombarding you. And you know, our, they, we were told that with technology, it was going to make it better. It was gonna make it faster and more easy and more efficient. And I really look around sometimes and I say, is the world a better place for all of this technology? I mean, really take a moment and think about this. It's accelerated. I mean, I don't even just have text apps anymore. I've got like 10 or 11, and each one of them sometimes have hundreds or thousands of messages. Are you getting like this in your life? It's like, whoa, this is too much. So a constant distraction, overwhelm. We look at the world, we look at the media, we look at the news, and the energy and the frequency of our earth that people are operating, it's very heavy. And so this is the number one way that this happens, or the first one I should say, I mean, look at 2006 is when the first iPhone came out. Here we are not even 20 years later, how far we've come. The first iPad came out in 2010. That's not even 15 years ago, folks. How much the world has changed and now with AI, it's only gonna accelerate. So please understand, functional medicine alone or just allopathic medicine alone or anything alone is missing the whole point. And that's why I feel if you've landed on this site, if you've landed here, you are meant to be here, guys, because there is there's something much deeper and we must do the deeper work. So one is the distraction that comes from complete and total overwhelm and distraction, right? It just throws us off the true north. The other, I have to be really real with you. I'm not afraid to say this. It is the systemic, intentional poisoning of humanity. Yes, let's say that again. The systemic and intentional poisoning of the humanity. Because there is a consciousness part to this issue, but there's also the physical, physiological part of this process, right? Anxiety, burnout, and fatigue. It disrupts your compass, your true north. Like, man, I wanna do music, and I wanna be a poet, and I wanna, I wanna go out there and have beautiful life, I wanna raise my children, I wanna create a beautiful property. Well, all the distraction, all the overwhelm, all the paying of your taxes. And then there's like, I feel exhausted. My hormones are off. I can't sleep at night. I can't wake up in the morning. I can't release my bowels because I'm so stressed out neurologically or I have chronic infection in my body, or I just feel like chemically like overwhelmed, or I have metals in my body that's blocking me. So where does this come from? Well, look at this, okay? I want you to ponder this. Our air 
our food and our water have been highly impacted. By who? The major corporations on this planet that produce the American Chemistry Council that produces all the plastic. It's made of estrogens. It's made of chemicals. Xenoestrogens and chemicals block your normal thyroid function, period. It's what creates body fat. And then your body fat produces estrogen and then you take on more estrogen and it's a snowball down the mountain, folks. We look at what's in our water with the chlorine and the fluoride. These block your ability for your consciousness to work because whether you believe that or not, chlorine, fluorine, and bromine, which is in breads and even Mountain Dew and many other things, they block the ability for your thyroid to absorb uh, iodine. And if it blocks that, it's actually dysregulating it. It's shutting it down. That's just the science. It's a reactive halide. It binds more powerfully than iodine. This isn't a woo-woo thing anymore. We need to get really real because I was at a functional medicine uh, symposium and I was one of the speakers for the Epic Functional Medicine Symposium here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I just had the doctors said, who in here believes they're treating the systemic poisoning of humanity? We're talking about all these cutting edge tests and genetics and all the new supplements we can sell patients. But in the reality of it all, guys, we have to widen back and say, man, our media, it's been poisoned. I mean, there's a separation message being, we're being enrolled in a different paradigm and narrative in our humanity right now. There's a narrative being pumped into humanity by these five major media companies. And it's a message of war and fear and separation and division and lines being drawn and guns being pulled. I'm not enrolled in that message. I don't like that message at all. We have to enroll ourselves in a new and powerful message. And by the way, it's always been here since the very beginning. This message is not new. It is what has always been there until five major media companies and a handful of companies that own all the food. And by the way, soon all of the water and all of the land and all the farmland. This is something that's genuinely and really happening. And as a doctor, where the word uh, comes from, Latin, right? Docer is to teach, right? This is the origination of the, of the word. Like if your doctor isn't teaching you, they're not doctoring. And I have to be really honest to say, it's not just that you're missing supplements or blood work or the next genetic testing or stool test. This is a consciousness thing. It is your compass being thrown off, yes, by physiological and body issues, but yes, by the consciousness that doesn't show up on the blood test. And this is about fighting for your own life, like saying, man, I'm important. They're trying to tell you you're not important. They're trying to tell you that AI is gonna replace your jobs. Screw that idea. We have to stand powerfully and we have to do it first within ourselves. And that's the work I am really about. That's what gets me juiced after 50,000 patient visits. That's what gets me excited. It's fear that shuts down the part of the brain that's responsible for problem solving. If we are stuck in a state of fear because we're in overwhelmed by the media and all the information on social media and everything that's going on, and we are toxic and we're tired and we're overweight and we're burdened and we're depressed and we're apathetic and we see no way for the future for our humanity and for our children, then we get really exhausted. And this shuts us down and we're being played and it's important to understand that we're being played. Played. So the way that we're going to work together, whether you do one of my immersives, whether we do some one-on-one -on -one work or whether we do some group work online together is we have to recognize is that we have to clear the body. We have to clear the body of the toxicity. We have to clear and look at the foundational underlying issues. Is it an endocrine issue going on with your system? Is it a neurological issue and just overwhelm? And we'll show you how to work with those components. Is it an emotional issue? issue within the body, which by the way, if, if you're not really paying attention, so much of this is an emotional component. It's, it's depression, it's sadness, it's lack, it's worry. It's like, oh my God, what's going to happen with my money? Oh no, my family's been separated by this whole COVID narrative. All of those things we need to work with. And so to work with the emotional, I really would say, I don't like the word emotional as much as it's your consciousness, right? Because you don't, you're not broken. You don't need to be fixed. You don't need years of endless counseling. It is about you regaining your power, right? Counseling is about the past. Coaching is about the future, creating the future, using all of that pain and trauma to actually say, you know what? I'm gonna rise like a phoenix from the ashes and be powerful in my life.
So I'm truly excited that you're here. I am so excited for you to join us. This is absolutely my passion. This is my mission on the planet to remind you of this. You already know this. None of this is like new information to you. It's just putting it together in a way for you to say, ah, that's right. And then you can go out and be the change that the world has been waiting for. There is a new, more beautiful narrative emerging on this planet. And I am excited you're here with me. I love you so much and we'll be talking really soon. This is Dr. K saying, take your power back.